Hey everybody, we've got another Home Cinema 2150 to look at. Uh, I actually bought this for you guys with my own money. I spent my money to buy this so that I can show you. Um, I picked it up on eBay. It was not very expensive. I think it was less than 150 shipped. Uh, I bought it because it was listed as parts or repair. The uh, owner said he was using it, he turned it off, and then the next day or a few days later he went to turn it on and nothing. No standby light, at least don't have a standby light, but nothing would happen. He looked around for a repair place, Epson told him he had to ship it somewhere, he didn't want to do that, so up on eBay it went. To me it came. Now unfortunately when I got it, I noticed that one of the screws in the bottom was missing, this screw was missing here and there was also something rattling around inside kind of like screws rolling around so I messaged him and asked him if he had had it open or if he knew if anybody had had it open and uh, he said he had not opened it but he was actually the second owner and maybe the guy before him had it open and, and I believe the guy he really had no reason to make it up to me I could have returned it if I wanted to so you know, I, I don't think he was trying to pull anything over on me. He seemed like a nice enough guy. So, I started uh, last night at home. I took it apart. And uh, I wanted to get that screw out because I really wanted to plug it in to see what happened. And I noticed that there definitely... Somebody was in here because these two screws are missing. And that's in there. So I'm wondering if maybe a fuse got hit, something like that. The other thing I noticed, whoever else had it open mangled this cable. If you look at the end, the cable's all chewy looking. Now, I still have a scrap unit that's slowly getting used up, so I have a replacement cable that I can use. So I'll put that in. Uh, I also have a spare power supply if we need to we can put that in but we're gonna go through and uh, I'm gonna get that whatever's rattling in there out and then uh, we'll keep going so let's let's put my hand in front of everything let's get that lamp assembly out all right Man, I cannot get that screw loose. Let's put the uh, infrared sensor back down. What I think happened is something... Is that the right way? I think whatever was rolling around in there... Because you see, screws missing here. I didn't take those out. So I think somebody had the power supply out at one point and maybe we had a, a screw hit something and pop the power supply. So let's see. Let's uh, see that fan feels good. I think that's it. Let's see. Yep, that was it. And I actually have screws I can put in here. So this is good. Let's, uh, let's see, let's put that lamp assembly back in because I haven't even tried to put power to this yet because I didn't want to take a chance with the, you know, with the uh, screw rattling around and possibly damaging something. So, let's snug these down and Alright, that's good. Oh. Gotta get that locked back in. That must... 
How does that fit? Just down? Just doesn't seem like that wire would go that way. Let me go look at my scrap one. That makes sense. There's the there's supposed to be a bracket that holds that down. Take that out. We'll use that in the good one. We can see it does sit down right in there. That's where it goes. So that's good. Let's put this on the other one. Here's the good one. So we'll do the same thing. That has to sit down in the in that thing. And then that's gonna go on top. Receivers held down. Got nothing else loose that I can think of, so let's uh, spin it around and get a power cord on it. Before we put that power cord in, I need to do this. Now, I gotta say, these Epson cables, I don't like these. Like, I can't tell when they're actually plugged in. They're, I don't really latch. I'm not sure if that's the way they're supposed to be or what. Most connectors release and tighten. I can't figure out for the life of me how these work. Yeah, see that just doesn't feel right. Alright, so that's just like a real annoying connector. I need to figure out how these work. Looking at the, uh, the socket, usually something pushes or releases, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Does it push in? Not really. Maybe they just push in. You know, I feel like something releases those edge latches. Maybe not, though. I don't know. But that one's in now. I got the I have the uh, the damaged one over here. I mean, it could pro. Oh no, it's got a broken broken trace there on the left. So this one's probably trash. I'll keep it around for a little bit, but it'll probably go. So I was kind of wondering if maybe that was part of the issue. Uh, let's see. Let's move the. Uh, tape over here. Set this here. And the door switch for this one is actually located in the lid. So we're going to plug in the keyboard. Plug in the keyboard. keyboard. Ah. Door just fell off. The uh, keyboard wire a little damaged on the end there. Not sure if that's going to be a problem or not. I'm going to try it. If that's it, I'll uh, get another one. Because I do have, again, I still have that scrap one. I'm pretty sure that has a good keyboard wire. Or I can just trim this one back a little bit and, you know, we can still use it. Just get this top on. There we go. 
and then slide that on. Wireless LAN came on. It's a good sign. Nothing. Does it complain about the lamp? No, not yet. Nope, not there. I think we're going to change that. Um, I think we're going to change that. Yeah, let me get my other uh, cover and we'll plug that one in and see what happens. And here's the uh, other keyboard. I have it shorted so that it'll think the uh, lamp door is closed. So let's just get that connector up. Carefully plug that in. Right, and there's nothing conductive on the bottom. This is the um, keystone control and everything. So I'll just get that in the middle. Just set that there. All right, wireless LAN. Okay. Yeah. So our power wires are here. Some of the power is clearly working, but some of it's not. But we got the wireless LAN light, so that's cool. So I guess wireless LAN, unless that's that fellow here, he's working. Nothing feels like it's getting warm. Alright, so I guess we want to check power supply and to check the power maybe do we want to just replace it hmm. hmm some of these are going to be ground some of these are going to be power let's uh, unplug that let's pop the cover off this and see and then we can Decide how we want to handle this. Let's see, that's the power factor control for the. That's power in. Or wait. Is that out? That's. Uh, let's see, this goes to here. Okay. This looks like it's power in. Yeah, okay, AC in here. Power factor out to the ballast there. So power comes in here. We have our bridge rectifier. All of our optical couplers. And then our low voltage in out. Oh, here we are. It's actually written on the bottom. That's actually pretty convenient. So, transmit, SCI common, or receive, SCI common, transmit ground, it's positive 17, positive 17, PSTH, power supply thermistor maybe, and then main on. So that's really what turns it on. So on... Let's see. One, two, three. So green and yellow should have 17 volts. If green and yellow have 17 volts, that's a good sign. We should also see some comm stuff on there. So before we go and start switching things out, let's measure what we have in here and see if we have to. Okay. Maybe that makes it a little more visible. So let's see, 12, 12, I 
That says 17. But let's check a few others. Let's see, main on is black. So this is supposed to be main on. And when I press power, does it do anything? Nothing. Let's just go down the line here. So white was ground, or this was ground, white was, the heck was white? Power supply TH, so probably power supply thermistor. So main on, power supply thermistor, ground, let's see, red is ground, and then Let's see, brown, brown is ground, and then this should be 17, and that should be 17. Let's see, then the thin wires look like comm stuff, receive, so I'm guessing that's going to be, let's see, purplish some kind of calm not much going on in there alright I think that power supply might be unhappy I think we should go down to that power supply so let's unplug that unclip my ground slide that meter over Screws ready. And let's see, what's the easiest way to get in here without making a big mess? Because I hate taking these optics out. It's such a drag. We might okay, so now we're gonna just tear this down. Uh, we gotta get into that power supply area. Something important I've learned about these. Don't disconnect these wires. For the life of me, I cannot figure out how to get these wires out either correctly or properly. They have a little, uh, get the focus here, they got that little cut in the end. And I think that maybe there's no latch and they just slide in and lock in. Maybe it's just supposed to be a one-time connection sort of thing. I don't know. I can't find like a place to push or pry or move that unlatches them. So I leave them in. The other thing that makes me think that might be the case is the way it's assembled. So that wire runs down to this board. Back you guys out just a tiny bit. So this board if I push that little clip over, I can push up and the whole board comes out. So I'm kind of thinking that they put this all together, lay it on top, and then lay that down and latch it into place. But also, so this side has, now I could just take the um, plastic off, but this one also has a you can move these latches. Actually, I'm going to leave that. Wait. No, that's coming out. Because I want to take the... Uh, ah. There we go. Now, what we can do, like on the other one, is it's got the little latch. And then the board slides out like that. And that can stay attached back to the main board right there. And again, I don't know how these connectors work. Now this one I was able to shove the wire in, but it's not its not super tight. It feels like it's in all the way. It has the same amount of exposed connector as the rest of them, so I do think it's in. I just don't like how it, you know, the way it sits. I think what we will do right now is I'm going to put a little bit of this black uh, 
transformer tape on it. Black capped on. I think it's capped on. Feels like capped on, but might not be. You know, just to keep it from popping out. Do the same thing on this side. Just keeps it all in place. Now, with that, we can move up here. You know, this is the test keyboard. Set that over here. I want to leave as much of this together as I can. So, this, let's see, if I remember correctly, that one, that one, come on. these guys, we're going to leave that board with the ROM on it. That doesn't need to come off. But if I remember, all of these along the side need to come out. That one always hides behind the wires. Okay. Now let's unplug that. That's going to go up there. We're going to unplug these wires. Power supply wires because that's what we're actually going for. Lamp temp, ballast control, iris control. All right, let's see. Well, that. There's a second board in here underneath that has the LCD panels, and that's the one I don't want to lift out. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Oh, let's get that one out. There we go. Here's the board that we took out. And you can see I left the way I left all these guys connected. That's what I want to do. I'm pretty sure they build it this way. So let's set that back out of the way. Here's the other board. This has the LCDs plugged in here. I want to leave those. I don't need to take that out. In fact, can put a few of these screws back in now that I see everything. Let's see, and then 
this one had a special that had a different screw in it I'm pretty sure yeah I'll pull one out of that scrap now normally we'd be taking this board out but there's nothing there nothing in here I need to deal with so I'm gonna leave that alone this is where we're going is in this thing I want to get that out so let's take the lamp assembly out because I think we have a couple screws down there I need to make sure are out that out down and down in here because we have these guys these guys are out that's fine uh, let's see does that come off yeah this is in the way take that off the uh, the zoom and focus bars might have to take that off to put him back in to get that all right I do see a few screws down in there this one That one here that is not in all the way. It was barely in. Yeah. Now that one was barely tightened. It had maybe one or two threads in. Let's see if... comes out. Let me have a screw here. Now we can see the power supply and what's going on. Let me get that. I'm going to show you there's a connector. Let's get this connector out. The whole reason I'm going about it this way is I don't want to unplug the LCD connectors if I can help it.
Hmm. Oh boy, what a pain. What a pain. Man. So I took the uh, replacement power supply apart. It'll be easier to install this way because we have to get that wire in and then that wire. And I don't want to take this out, so it's going to take a little uh, finagling to put it politely. Now, I can also, I think I'm going to take that fan out. I might loosen that one screw. Got that there. But this could be, yeah, there we go. So I'm not even going to, ah, so that's actually... Wow. Okay. So this is the AC in, but it loops. It has that um, 115C sensor in there. So if that gets too hot, where the lamp is, it'll kill the main power to it. So it's good to know what that's for. So let's see if we can get that in here. going to go inside and this connector just going to get that in just have to fight it a little There we go. Let's see then. This guy has got to go back in. This way? Yeah, that way. So the wire. Let's get that wire out. It's caught. There we are. Then that wire fits in there. All right, that's down. Now let's put the other board in. So this plugs in down here. This plugs in here, and then these guys are going to plug into the upper board. So let me put this in first. Oops, not quite. There we are, that's in. Now, these wires are supposed to clip into that plastic, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to leave them out. I'll just 
tuck them down in case it has to come out. So then this goes back on. And I'll clip them back through there. Like that. So not perfect, but better. Much better. Then, we have to put this on. Alright, I want to put this back on, but that metal bracket here is going to be in the way, so we're going to temporarily remove that metal bracket that, that holds that side of the PCB. That's going to be interesting. Um, well, make sure we have enough bendiness. I think we might be all right. Let's just come on. There we go. Wires out, pinched under here. All right, let's get these down. All right, start putting some screws in. down in here. You guys can't really see. We'll spin that a little bit. Give you a little better view. I just hope this solves it. So it's this screw, this larger screw, goes right here. All right, and I think there's probably two more that go in there, but I'm going to hold off on those for the moment. I want to put this back in. Let's put this fan back in and see if 
we can power this up soon. That's good, that's good. We can take this now. And remember, before I pulled the old supply out, we were getting 12 volts up here instead of the 17 that I saw listed on the uh, board. Now, maybe that's supposed to be that way. I'm not sure. Kind of don't think so, but we'll see. So I just want to line up this connector on the side. Basically, if I line up the uh, screw holes, it should just yeah, connect like that. And let's put Wi-Fi in. I'm going to leave that board on the front loose. Plug in that Bluetooth module. screws in. just want to put in enough to hold it. Oh, forgot. An important screw, this one. There we go. Line that up again. Snap that down. And we'll put a couple screws around the board here just to keep things from slipping and breaking. So I'll put one there, one here, and that should be enough for testing. Let's get the rest of these wires plugged back in. Auto iris, uh, I believe this is a fan, and what is this ballast control maybe? temperature sensor and here we have a fan and then the uh, lamp temp sensor the exhaust temp sensor that guy let's get our test keyboard here this keyboard came out of the uh, donor projector go. Let's get a power cord and see what happens. Wireless LAN is on like it was before. Let's see if that makes any difference to any of this. Nope. So what that makes me think is that that upper board is bad. I'm going to swap this board. That's why we only put two screws in. see anything obvious but it's hard to say where that screw hit 
I still think there was a loose screw and that's what caused all this. But now we'll find out. Let's see, because if this acts the same way, then it could be that lower board. just weird that that Wi-Fi light was on. I kind of think either that loose screw I found inside caused this or the way that that cable was so mangled. Maybe they plugged it in and shorted out a few connectors. Uh, but I'm actually not going to plug those in here yet. I'm po oh, I shouldn't say I'm positive. I'm pretty positive I don't need them for testing at least. Now we won't get any uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Trying to see what that board is. That might be the uh, Wi-Fi. Looks like it's USB. The way the wiring is at least. Looks like there's positive and negative. And then data positive, data negative. Oh, and that came loose. Okay, hang on. Do do that. And let me put these two in just to keep things from popping loose. There we go. Instead of fancy editing cuts, let's just get this up here, plug this in. Ah, look at that. No wireless land light on. Main board. Let's see if we get uh, any kind of picture. Light lamp just came on. Hey, look at that. Got Epson. That's pretty good. So the problem is that main board. One of these. Yeah, picture looks good. All right, let's uh, let's turn it off. I'm still waking up. Yep, there's Keystone's good. There we are. All right, I'm gonna let this cool down a little. Then we'll go ahead and we'll move these guys, that wire, and of course the uh, wire that started it all, this one. And we'll retape that, of course. So I put that there, but that was the uh, the problem. Is that main board there? I wonder what got shorted out if it was. 
wonder what it was. Up here, maybe. Hmm. It's like somebody had this apart and they didn't put it back together right. Don't see any damage. So we have GPIO power and USB. Probably something on this board. Just trying to see if there's any damage, you know, if we find any uh, electrical damage, short circuits, burned chips, that sort of thing. Just want to pop this uh, pop this off. Because there's a possibility this particular board is good. There's our power stuff. I might have to check through that. Or this board is good. We'll probably keep them both and I'll just mark, you know, what's wrong with them or what my suspicions are so that when it's time we can check them out. I am going to save these flat flex cables. They're good. This stuff will probably get recycled. I'm going to have a lot of leftover screws because I brought out all the screws, even the ones from the scrap projector, because this was missing screws. The uh, most important ones that made me notice that are the ones down the bottom there. That's, um, if they're not there, it's a pretty telltale giveaway that something went wrong. Go around this way, those guys. It's important to put these in because if not, they rattle around and they short out the main board or that GPIO board. that one. Let's see, that should be... Come on, fingers. There we are. I feel good about those. I like how that is. Now let's get our... Let's get this thing ready. And this thing. So I'm just going to straight up just push it in and then I have some capped on tape which we will put over all of these to make sure that it's um, correct. So let's see that, that, you yeah, see it's just kind of like, I don't see a latch.
so they're all plugged in hopefully our wires are those connectors will work let's plug it in no Wi-Fi LAN thing which is good hey that's good so we'll see now once this comes up we'll go inside the menu and see if the settings are uh, available for all of the accessories it's good to know that this power supply is okay so we'll save that that stuff out of the way. Alright. Yeah, SSID is showing up, so that's good. So that means the Wi Fi is working. Let's go to LAN. Oh, I guess because I'm not. Address. You know what? I'm going to do a full all config reset. Nice. Oops. That looks good. All right. I'm going to shut it down and uh, let's start putting it back together. Now we're going to put these wires back on, but before I do that, I really want to tape down those cables. So I've got capped on tape. Get it to come up one piece, which I can. Just fighting a little bit. doing this so that we don't have to worry about the condition of that connector because I do question, definitely question the condition of those. So let's this one over here okay that's good then these have to go under they have to go under that plastic bit Yeah, that's what we want, because that clip there holds the wires out of the way so that when the cover's on, they don't get back into where the lamp assembly is. They stay out of that area. Let's see, and then these guys stuff them down here out of the way all right that's pretty good and we can put oh I almost forgot or I almost forgot something really important I'm sure you guys are watching waiting for me to get to it Just why would I forget this take that off is keyed
right, does feel good. I actually brought all of the screws from my scrap projector over. We're not going to need all of them, but they're in there if we do. Alright, that's good. Now let's put this back on. Alright, good. Yep, it's good. I like it. Alright. I think now we can set this on. So let me just give this top up just a look see. Make sure I don't see any holes that I don't expect to see, and I don't. That's good. All right, so let's, that's loose. Let's get our keyboard wire reconnected. Oof, that's actually really chewed up. I've got a broken wire, so I'm going to cheat. And we're going to cut that. Yeah. Let's see if that works. I cut the chewed up pieces off so it'll sit a little lower in here. But I think I think it'll be fine. If not, I can use the uh, other cable I have. That'll be fine. But I think we'll be all right here. Let's set that on top. put a few screws in here to hold this down. Because I need to put the uh, lamp door on. Alright. Because I want to make sure that door switch works and the not door switch sorry the uh, keyboard wire yep it does work so I didn't want to let it start up I just wanted to make sure that that part was okay move all that stuff over we can put screws back in now Now I have the clutch set incredibly low, that is set to one, so that is very little torque. But if I run the speed fast, then there should be enough torque to pull it in tight, and that's what I feel like happened. So that's good. Now let's get the bottom. I gotta put this on first. Yep. Oops. Well, that's good. It's at least I uh, at least I made sure it worked. So let's pop out that. That. Oh, come on. And then these guys. So 
So this is going to go on Let's just make sure this all lines up. There we go. And I'm going to put this in here. Helps hold that back panel in place so that we can get this in the right spot. Yeah, I like that. One. Now I am ignoring the uh, the plastic threads because this is the last time this is going back together, and this is only the third time or fourth time maybe these screws have gone in. There we go. So those two I just put in because I wanted to make sure it was tight. These I'll be a little more careful with. There we go. There we are. I like that filter door like that let's see we have all our screws in there that's good let's put our lamp door on and now let's do the bottom and then the bottom has all sorts of weird screws now machine threads go in there these are plastic the helical threads here oh there, it is. there we go so that would be let's see this one and this one I'm just glad this projector gets to live on again. I will uh, put a link to the uh, auction for this um, if I decide to do that. I am going to sell it, but I'm just not sure yet where I'm going to sell it. I'm kind of over eBay at the moment. They want your tax information now, which is weird. Not that I have anything to hide, but personally, I don't think it's any of their business. Let's see, one there, one there, one there. All right, let's do that. But if you sell more than $600 a year on eBay, they want to 1099 you, which is a little weird. I mean, I understand their reasoning, but for a casual seller it's really annoying so I'll still use PayPal as annoying as PayPal is they're still pretty safe but I do not want to use eBay anymore all right let me get that piece we'll screw that on and we'll wrap it up all right it goes here we have two more of the helical screws Here, and I 
think that'll do it. I think this is all back together. I don't think there's any more missing screws. I do have some extras to throw in that bag. There we are. And then we have two in the back. So that's this one. This is actually one of the ones that was rolling around inside. Alright, that one. Then... Yeah. And that one. Alright. That's good. That is really good. So let's get all these extra screws, dump them in the bag. HC2150, so I know where the screws came from. And then all these other, these parts we will, I'm gonna catalog. I'm going to organize and catalog, save all this stuff. I'm going to save that board. I will put a... Let's see. There's a spot where I won't miss it. So I'm going to put a question mark. And then... Another question mark. So I know these are questionable. And the rest of the stuff is fine. So I'll save... I'll save the wires. I'll save the other power supply module. Just save all that stuff. And of course we'll save this this LAN module here. And then of course my uh, keyboard. I'm going to save that for testing. But let's go fire this up in the test area and see how it looks. And there we go. We have this little uh, HT2150, or HT, I keep wanting to call it HT, like the uh, BenQ. Uh, we have this HC2150, Home Cinema 2150, with its replaced mainboard running. Here are the two parts I replaced, the uh, mainboard and this other GPIO board. Not sure which one's the actual issue, my suspicion is it's the larger of the two boards. But I've been running this for about three hours now without any issue, and the picture looks good. This is some uh, poorly white balanced footage from Wales, I believe, 4K footage on YouTube. Yep. And uh, I still have to get the white balance worked out on this camera a little better. But the picture looks great. Colors are vibrant. A um, lot better looking in person than it is on the camera. Uh, way more reds in person. I think my white balance is set more towards the blue. But anyway, the important part is it looks good. We have a full picture. Um, all of the functions are good. The uh, Wi-Fi works. Everything works in it. So it's, uh, it's good to go. So there we have it. This is how to repair an inoperable HC2150 Epson, the uh, Home Cinema 2150. Replacing the main board in this one seemed to take care of it. Power supply was okay. This particular projector I will probably sell. Um, I own it. I bought it on eBay just to make this video for you all. So if, uh, if you see a link in the description to a place to buy this and you want to buy it, go ahead and check that link. I'm not going to ask too much for it. Basically, I want to make my money back. I'm not looking to really make any profit. I just want to keep the ball rolling as I buy, repair, and sell, then I can buy another one, do a video on it as I repair it and then sell it to somebody else. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions about your Epson, go ahead and stick them down in the comments. I will do my best. Um, as far as getting parts, the only place to get parts for these, if you are not directly affiliated with Epson, is through aftermarket channels. Either used projectors to scrap down, that's where these parts came from, or some of the uh, e-recyclers. You can sometimes find parts through them. Um, that's what I would probably do if I did not have a main board for this. Although the cost would probably be a little high to buy a main board, honestly. But the important thing is it's fixed now. So uh, yeah, if you need a lamp assembly, check the description. I'll have a link in there to get a replacement lamp assembly, as well as a coupon code to save you a few bucks. 
And uh, if you made it this far and got all the way to here, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.